like next, I suppose. Who, who me? Well, if the Dalai Lama's not in line, you, Dad, yeah. Come on over, Kimasabi, and park it. Take a seat. Well, I was told to see the account the manager. what? The teller told me. The who? I'm, I'm here to make a deposit in my- a deposit? Why didn't you say so, man? No point beating around the proverbial juniper. Deposit's my main bag. Drop it on off. As I was saying, I'd like to make a deposit in my savings account and- Savings? Then... Savings? Yeah, safe. Xavier Kugat's sailor granddad. I can dig that. Well, I have the sum of $200, and I'd like to make a deposit in my savings account, if that's okay with you. Right away, Jesse James. Post haste, ipso facto, facto ipso. Let's see the color of your cabbages today, Farmer Brown Nose. I've got exactly $200. Thanks for the handoff, OJ. Touchdown. Do not pass go, go man, go. Aren't you going to count it? No need, my man. If you say it's two yards, then by all means, it's two yards. I can dig where your train's coming from. Yeah, but don't I need a receipt or something? A what? A receipt. A receipt of deposit. You know, that shows that the balance has been transferred. Did you... If that kind of bureaucracy floats your Noah's Ark or something, man, I can make it happen like that. Well? Hold the phone, Capone. Let's see, we got two yards. There you go, Mephisto. This is entirely unacceptable. I'd like to talk to the manager. Like you just did. Not the branch manager. Oh, you mean the big kahuna. The grand slam damn ne ultra voodoo tiki god. Yes, if that's no trouble with you, yes. Fine, well you've peed my parade long enough, Rain Man. Why don't you take yourself a pilgrimage down the hallway to the third vestibule on the right? You can't miss it. It says in the nomenclature of your bourgeois class, um, bank manager. I will. Okay, so that C biscuit in the fifth. I also want no class uh, to place in the uh, seventh. And then tall. Oh, Aunt Vivian, um, give my love to Frank, say hi to the kids. I gotta go bye bye. Yes. I like to make a deposit. I've been here for. Absolutely, absolutely. Please, please. Wow, very, very punctual. I like that in the candidate. Excuse me? So, why should we hire you? Excuse me? Let's just cut to the chase. Sometimes we cut and we don't have a chase. Either way, I hope you brought your scissors. Look, I, I just want to make a deposit, that's all. Here's the problem. Billy, you. My name's Bob. Billy Bob goes into a bank to make a deposit. And which of the following applies? A, Billy Bob mailed in his deposit. B, Billy Bob has an account with us. Or C, Billy Bob was in the bank and happened to make a deposit. B, Billy Bob has an account. Fantastic. I got it right? Uh, no, but uh, thank you very much for having an account at our bank, Billy Bob. The answer was C, Billy Bob was in the bank and made a deposit. But I didn't make a deposit. That's why I'm, I just, that's why I'm here. I want to make the deposit. Tell me, what's your greatest strength? My patience. And what's your greatest weakness? My patience. Ooh, you cancel yourself out quite nicely. I like that in a candidate. I'm not a, I'm not a candidate, I'm a customer. Doesn't anybody around here listen? You know, I didn't quite hear that because I was thinking about the next question, which is, where do you see yourself in five seconds? Ah, there you go again. Not very goal oriented are you? You know, I think I found at least a dozen reasons why I shouldn't hire you. Can you give me one reason why I shouldn't? Because I'm making a large deposit today. How much? $200,000. Excellent. Can you start on Tuesday? 
yeah, I, I think I can, yeah. Congratulations, Billy Bob. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Thanks.